LSU at Alabama, a tied victory puts them in the SEC championship. But LSU in the second quarter off to the 7 0 lead. Jordan Jefferson to D'Angelo Peterson on a 12 yard touchdown pass. Alabama trying to come back. Julio Jones open. Greg McElroy misses him. So it's still 7 0. They'd settle for the field goal, 7 3. How about this one? Towards the end of the first half, McElroy throwing the interception. And Nick Saban can't be happy with that because they had a chance for points on the board. But go to the third quarter, and McElroy makes up for it. A drive that had a lot of Mark Ingram finishes with this. Darius Hanks for the 21-yard touchdown, and it's 10-7. Now, this is a huge play in the game. Jordan Jefferson hurts his ankle on this play from Nico Johnson, would not come back the rest of the game. Jarrett Lee would come in. Jarrett Lee, who threw seven pick sixes last season. But special teams played a huge role. They pinned Alabama down at the one, and the Crimson Tide. McElroy taking the safety, so it's a 10-9 ball game. Charles Scott, he had a big game until this play. This was the big part of the game. And then he would leave the game with an injury all the way down to the 15-yard line. So backup quarterback, backup running back, Stephen Ridley. But a lead nonetheless. LSU up 15-10, would go for two, would not get it. Alabama bounces back. McElroy to Julio Jones, who has not had the best of seasons. He's had injuries. He's had drops. He's had double teams. But here he's got 73 yards and an Alabama lead. They would get the two-point conversion. 21-15. This is another key play. Special teams running into the kicker. It would set up a field goal from Lee Tiffin. And that would do it. 24-15. LSU would have one more opportunity. But Jarrett Lee, again, backup quarterback, intercepted. Robbie Green, that clinches it. Alabama has got a spot opposite Florida in the SEC championship game first weekend in December.